We're sending out a high five this morning to Shelby Residential and Vocational Services. The agency gets high marks for providing services for people with disabilities. This morning, serves as it's called, is moving forward after some major renovations. Renovations that will help more people here in the Mid-South. Now, Tyler Hampton is serves new executive director, and he's here this morning to tell you all about it. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and now I know that you are new to uh, serves. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I have been at SERVS for 12 years. I was uh, Director of Finance in the beginning and okay. uh, became Director of Operations and now Executive Director. So I guess you're new to the Executive Director position. Yeah, but not new to SERVS. <laughs> excited about what's happening at SERVS? Very excited. We have a lot going on. We have a, uh, we've renovated a building at 3971 after a successful uh, capital campaign, raised over five and a half million dollars in one of the most difficult recessions uh, the country scene. Um, lots going on there. We have a new learning center. We've been able to expand the uh, capacity of SERVs by uh, opening this learning center. We have uh, clinical services. We're expanding those as well. And uh, from what I understand, you have a big grand opening plan for this month. That's correct, June 15th. What uh, do you expect to happen? Uh, well, we'll have a ribbon cutting and we'll be giving tours of the new facility. Uh, hope to have lots of folks come out and everybody seems to be super proud of this new facility I heard somewhere that you will be able to double the amount of people you help or uh, we'll be able to double the n amount of people we help in the learning center okay uh, and in the clinical services uh, we have another campus that has employment services as well and we're hoping to begin working on it soon and everybody seems to be super proud of the learning center what goes on there uh, the learning center is actually um, it's uh, it, it has been uh, very engaging activities for people with disabilities. Uh, we have an elderly section, we have elder care and uh, just um, physical disabilities, but we also have, um, we have a, a, a art room, we have a music room, we have a model apartment to teach activities of daily living, uh, we have a music room, and in the music room we have uh, a new program called Rhythmic Arts Project, mm -hmm. which uh, we imported from California. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, everybody is excited about what you guys are doing there. You've been in the community here for some 50 years. We want to let everybody know that your grand opening is again for Friday, June 15th? Correct. Okay, and that's from 2 to 4 p.m.? And what's the address? What's the location? 3971 Night on the Road, right oh. across from Delta Medical. Good. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. We'll have thank you come you. back some more, learn about all the great things going on at SIRS. Okay. All great. right. Well, stay tuned. More news, weather, and sports are just ahead this morning on Action News 5 Weekend.